Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Rafael and we're back at Division 1. For those of you who don't know me, I covered Division 1 and Division 2. Division 1, not that much anymore, simply because there isn't like anything new to it. When a new global event, not a new, but when a global event goes active, and pretty much that's it. Then I will make some other Division 1 uh, videos like uh, being nostalgic about how great that game used to be and things that I would like to see in a potential Division 3 or in Division 2 changes from Division 2 that were like inspired from Division 1 if if I said that wrong if that makes any sense but pretty much today as you can see the background we have the Amres department I probably spelled that wrong or pronounced it wrong, wrong. I'm sorry uh, I cannot my accent will not allow me to do it but uh, it's one of my favorite missions and what I wanted to talk about today uh, this division one videos as I told you will not have like there will not be guides it will not be builds nothing like that just me like talking and, and sharing my thoughts right and something that I forgot to mention is that every Saturday we will have division one in my channel uh, every Saturday night at least for Eastern European time um, if you're living in the United States that's like at least uh, six with seven hours uh, behind so that will be like noon for you I guess 12 1 p.m. somewhere out there but yeah um, as I was saying division one missions especially like missions like the armrest apartment uh, Warren gate stolen signal the other like incursion that's like right next to Warren gate the which I think it's an incursion as well yeah the, it's like the Warren gate it's a missing and then right next to it is another incursion I don't remember the name of it but those are just a few of the missions that I really love completing uh, even like after four years of the release of the game I still enjoy doing them why I actually enjoying completing them that much compared to like completing missions in division 2 is simply because even after like so many years even after pretty much everybody that plays a game today in division 1 uh, has like a perfect build or like very close to it, to be to it being perfect I think that you can still struggle. I mean, in the run that you're watching in the background, we didn't struggle that much. Uh, but right after that mission, we went to Warring Gate and we like wiped with a different group, not the one that I'm playing uh, here. But we we wiped I think two or three times, uh, and, and that was because our builds were fine. That, but we were like doing stupid things, and the the, the Division One NPCs, especially in Legendary and in Heroic, are are pretty punishing. Uh, Division 2, yes yeah, sir, you can wipe of course, but I don't like, most of the times when we're wiping in legendary missions in Division 2, it's because one of the guys in the group, it's like, doesn't have the, the right build, or he like fucked up really bad, or, or something like that, right? But in Division 1, even if everybody has like the right build, and even uh, if you don't fuck up like big time, you can still like lose if you underestimate the enemies or whatever, you can still wipe. These missions are still challenging, at least for me, uh, to this day. When in Division 2, after I run like, I don't know, uh, District Union on Legendary for like 3 or 4 times, after that, I have no war, I have no trouble like completing it. No matter, like, uh, at least uh, if I know the guys that I'm playing with, you know what I mean? Uh, but even if I jump, like, on a random group, I'm still pretty sure that I will be able to, like, do pretty fine and, and help the other guys complete it if they're struggling. I'm actually trying to complete it solo as well. And if I manage to do that, you'll probably, you will probably see a video of it on my channel. Uh, I'm getting pretty close, but uh, there are some parts really uh, challenging when you're playing solo, but yeah, that's what I miss from missions, honestly, and I also miss the fact that there aren't many legendary missions in Division 2, in Division 2, you have like, what, three legendary missions? And that's it. When back in Division 1, you had a couple of legendary missions, you had a couple of incursions which you could put on Heroic, and they would be actually harder than a lot of legendary missions, but... At the end of the day, that's what I'm missing. I mean, uh, I feel like Division 2 has a much better open world uh, with the control points, with the convoys, with all those kind of things. But when it comes to missions, I think that they, they didn't... I still don't know why they haven't introduced Legendary to other missions. I think it would actually bring players, a lot of players back and it will actually give them a reason to grind and to play the game. When right now... I have completed all the legendary missions, uh, they're fun to do, that, that's okay, but there are only th three of them, I, I get bored doing the same legendary mission again and again, so bring me some new ones, y you know what I mean? 
But yeah, uh, pretty much that's what I want to talk about. I really, uh, I really miss Division One's mission. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, as I told you, every Saturday we'll have one new Division One video on my channel. And also, what I want to let you guys know is that I will actually come with more information, things like that, uh, in a future video. But um, I will try to start expanding to other games and not just Division 1 and Division 2. So uh, I'm thinking different type of games at the moment. I, I, I'm not going to say something because nothing's sure. Definitely when Outriders comes out, I will cover it because i really looking forward to it. But until then, I will uh, have some new games in my channel. And yeah, I will make a detailed video about it uh, later in the week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.